right, guys. Action. Action. Well, welcome to uh, New Holland Agriculture's Operation Blue Force, Train to Win. Um, in this tent, we're going to talk about the auto command transmission. Uh, this is been a really good training because we're able to show all the features and benefits of the auto command transmission. Um, the differences we have between the other CVT style transmissions we have out there. Um, so how I like to start is to break our transmission down into very basic symbols because we hear about the auto command transmission and people start to worry about the complexity. Uh, we have a problem demystifying what the transmission means. They're familiar with our power shift, they like our power shift transmission, so they don't really feel the need to move to the auto command because they don't quite understand it. So the very first thing I like to do is to break down the three simple components that we use in the auto command transmission, which makes it uh, very good in the marketplace, makes it very efficient and very productive in the field. So the first component is the hydrostatic unit. Now from history, you know, we've been using hydrostatic units since about 1950, right? Um, the problem we have with hydrostatic units is we have a lot of parasitic loss. Uh, we found that in the old tractors where, you know, the oil would heat up and we'd lose a lot of, uh, a lot of power. You have them in your lawnmowers, but we don't have big power demands in lawnmowers. So I say we have a hydrostatic unit. Everyone understands the hydrostatic unit. Everybody knows it. The next piece we have is a power shift transmission. All right. So in the auto command transmission, we have a four speed power shift. And we, how we do this is we know that the power shift in the gears has 100%, have 100% mechanical efficiency. So the only problem with the power shift is we can't really find the speed that we want. And we found with the hydrostat that although we can find the speed that we want, infinite speeds, we don't, we have the parasitic power loss, all right? So what we've done with the auto command is taken the power shift transmission, and the hydrostatic transmission and married them together. And we do that via a compound planetary, all right? So we're also, in ag producers, salesmen, dealers, uh, your readers should be very familiar with the compound planetary because we have them in all of our axles, all right? Axles on the T9, on the combines, on front wheel assist tractors, we have planetaries. The only thing we're doing different with the compound planetary is we're moving the outside ring, making it into a compound planetary. So, in the planetary, let me put up a picture for you. In the planetary, we have the ring gear on the outside, which is not stationary like it would be in axles, okay, which is run off the hydrostatic motor. In the center, we have the sun gear. The sun gear runs off the engine. That's where we get our mechanical efficiency. So our output shaft out of this compound planetary are the planets. They are coupled to the transmission to the four speed power shift that's behind. So a very important thing to note, and, and we're one of the only ones that are doing it, is we're using this four speed power shift to put power to the ground, okay? We only use the hydrostatic motor to vary our speeds. So it's filling in the gaps, so to speak, between the four shift or between the four speed power shift, so to speak. So that gives the operator um, infinite speeds, so we have the benefit of the hydrostatic, and it gives him more points of 100% mechanical efficiency, which of course we know is a benefit of the power shift transmission. A very high level product lineup that we have for the auto command transmission is the T6 series. We have that offered in our four-cylinder models, the T6140 and the T6160. <coughs> then we move to the uh, T7 series. We have the auto command offered on all models that have the sidewinder two armrest. All right, so we have that in the standard wheelbase and the long wheelbase. And then, of course, we have um, optional on all model year 13 Genesis uh, T8 models, uh, the uh, auto command transmission. So we do have it standard on the uh, Genesis 420, the flagship of the T8 series, and we also have it standard on the um, flagship of the T7 series, the 270. Things we should know about the auto command. This transmission is extremely easy to program and operate. Now, one thing New Holland does is we give the operator lots of options in the cab to fine-tune this tractor, all right? 
many different options to fine tune. We have three ways to shuttle shift. All right, so we can shuttle shift with our command grip handle with a button on the command grip and on the stalk, the, the FNRP level, forward, neutral, reverse, park lever. We have this common on all of our models, all right, so T6, <coughs> T7 short wheelbase, T7 long wheelbase, and T8. Um, we allow the operator to fine tune how they want to operate this tractor, okay, so we give them a bunch of options. So easy to program and operate. I've said the operator can fine tune this tractor in many different ways, but at its most basic point, all I have to do is get into the tractor, start it up, push in my clutch, put it in forward, and push forward on the command grip, and I can move. And I can operate that tractor for three to five years just like that. Okay? What we get into more in our training course is how the operator can fine tune it for fuel efficiency, for productivity, and to make it an overall great experience in the tractor. Infinite speed changes. Our transmission can go, if I call for 31 miles per hour in the auto command transmission, I can actually go 0 to 31 with one push of the command grip, with one push of the go pedal, or one push of the cruise mode. Okay? Um, we, I think we do a really good job with that. We don't actually, we can't hurt the transmission when we're in the operator station. All right? The transmission is running off the universal control module, so everything that's happening in the transmission, it's, it's doing it via computer. We're just calling and modulating that transmission from the operator station. Precise speed control to one-tenth of a mile an hour. All right, this is slow. Once we get to one-tenth of a mile an hour, we can actually go to two one-hundredths of a mile per hour. That's 64 feet an hour. All right, if you guys have been in the auto command and actually have done this, and people always do, you can barely see the tires moving. What does this mean? All right, the auto command is ex has excellent creeper capabilities. All right, so we're getting a lot of questions about uh, the pool type har harvesters. All right, potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, the row crop guys who are using this with the conveyors for for lettuce, um, more pool type, uh, horseradish, carrots. Um, the auto command has excellent capabilities in these markets. I want to talk about industry leading mechanical efficiency. All right. We are twice as good here. We have four points of 100% mechanical efficiency. Because of that four speed power shift I was telling you about, we can hit mechanical efficiency more often than anyone. All right? It's because of the architecture of this transmission and those three components working together to give us seamless speed changes. Optimized fuel economy and performance. The very neat thing about the auto command transmission is that it is always working towards 100% mechanical efficiency. The universal control module in this tractor always wants to work towards 100% mechanical efficiency. An important, an important note here is that because of the architecture of our transmission, we actually never go less than 75% mechanical efficiency. All right? We're never using a maximum of 25% oil. Seamless operation through all the ranges. Now I told you, when you're sitting in the cab, the cab is where you need to be. You do not care what's happening in the transmission. The tractor is taking care of that for you. The transmission and the engine are talking back and forth constantly, figuring out what engine RPMs you need to be at and what ratio the transmission needs to be at to achieve 100% mechanical efficiency. In the auto command, we offer a 25 mile per hour and 31 mile per hour option. That's a 40 and 50 kph. Okay? And we talked about close, uh, slow creeper speeds that are inherent to the auto command transmission. And another really unique uh, feature that we have that New Holland has in the auto command is the active stop start safety function. So what does that mean? When I call for forward in this tractor, I have, when I press my foot on the clutch, take it out of park and put it in forward, I am making this transmission pressurized, so to speak. So I don't need a brake to hold it. All right, sounds kind of cool, but it even gets better. This is wonderful in transport uh, situations, for one example, because what we can do is we can use this go pedal like we can drive a car. So I can go from zero to 31, and as soon as I let my foot off the go pedal, I'll just come down to a, to a stop as you put in your car, and I don't have to touch anything else. This tractor can actually sit on a slope either way and hold 80,000 pounds. What's really nice, one example that the farmers, I think, would really enjoy is when they're coming out of the field onto a road, how many of us have done the clutch brake, brake clutch to get out, 
looking for traffic, all I have to do is pull up to the road, let my foot off the pedal, and I stop. I don't have to punch the brake, I don't have to punch anything, right? So the transmission will hold it. When I see that it's clear, I press the go pedal and off I go down the road. So this is a very, very nice function. Our function here, when I say it's unique to New Holland, um, our function here works the best, I believe, of anyone that's out there. Okay. Do we have any questions so far? Pretty good. All right. I just want to briefly go into the operator station and talk about the command grip. You guys do have this in the trifold. Very simple to operate. We use the command grip as the heart of this transmission, the heart of how you operate this tractor. So everything I need to do, I can do right from the command grip, from shuttling, from changing my target speeds with a thumb wheel, an encoder, much like you find on a mouse, a common mouse today and then my target speed selections. I can choose three speeds. A lot of guys will find, will, um, and these are artificial ceilings. It has nothing to do with the transmission itself. It's how you're modulating the transmission. So we'll find a lot of guys will put F3, which is my highest, into a transport, F2 into a headland, and F1 into back and forth through the field. So it just gives them more options. The other nice thing about this is I can change those on the fly as many times as I want. So we have a lot of options there for, for the person driving this track. We also have the cruise mode function. So I start going down the road. This is really nice because it will take me to the top of whatever speed I've selected. So looking here on the APOS, I decide I want to put it in cruise mode. Cruise mode will actually, if I call for 30 miles an hour, I don't have to hold anything. All right, I just get the tractor moving and push the C button and 30 miles an hour is where I go. This is also really nice for baler operation, right? The T7 has been great with round balers because what do these guys do? They open their tailgate, they unload the bale, close the tailgate, push the seat button, and off they go again. They're not holding on the clutch. We have that active stop start, so they're not holding on the brake. They can just easily go back to doing what they're doing, which is down the all right? One other really interesting feature that we have with the Auto Command is on our integrated control panel, we have a sensitivity and aggressiveness setting. Okay? So one light, two lights, three lights. What we can do here is we can modulate how we talk to that transmission. We're not changing how the transmission operates, we're just changing how we speak to it. So if I'm in heavy tillage work, I could put it in one light, that leaves me it, it allows all my torque to stay to the ground and in a given period. If I call for a higher speed, it will get there slowly. So I don't lose, I don't lose traction, I don't uh, increase my slip, um, I don't have any problems there. Three lights will jump ahead to the highest setting is excellent for road transport. All right, This transmission can modulate and operate to really put you back in your seat. So it's really, really great. The other nice thing about three lights in road transport is not only do we accelerate faster, but we come down off of our speed much uh, faster. So when we find we're roading a lot more today than we were, say, 20 years ago, and we find the drivers probably aren't quite as in tune with agricultural equipment being on the road, um, this three light option, modulating the transmission even faster, gives us quick, easy um, uh, operation of the transmission to get us up and down the road safely, okay? Well, what I'd like to do now is get you guys into some tractors, unless, of course, you have questions.